grill is preheated and this is what's called an accordion cut on a steak. You cut it all this way, you flip it, and then you cut it the other way. And then I actually tried something a little different and I weaved in two strips of bacon through the accordion. Uh, I'll see if that adds a little bit of uh, flavor. And pick it up and it's an accordion like that. You can normally see right through it, but I weave that bacon in. There. Steak dried brine for a little bit. And now we're gonna place the cool steak onto the grill. And we're just gonna leave that sit for a little bit. A minute and a half. And now we're gonna flip this steak, so we're gonna grab the accordion here. We're gonna lift it and we're gonna flip that sucker. And you see that nice coloring on there is because of the dry brine and drying it out before putting it on the grill. Now this is the final stretch of the steak grilling, so we're gonna take our bread and that bread is going to be used as almost like a sandwich. We're going to dip that on the steak there. And then we're going to put that up on this upper grill rack here. And we're going to let this sit for another minute and a half and that'll be good to go. And after flipping it twice and letting it stay on there for a little bit, that gets that marinade nice and clean, brings it up to a safe temperature. We can remove this. And then we're going to let the meat rest. And you see that's a beautiful looking accordion steak with the bacon weaved in there. Really excited to eat this, but you never eat your steak immediately. You always want to let it rest. Right on top of that beautiful bread that we put on the grill a little earlier. That bread only took about a minute to do like that. One thing I like to add is a little bit of uh, Gouda cheese to the bread here. And this always uh, adds a little bit of flavor. And that'll give uh, a little bit of balancing to the savory. It's just all savory here. So that's the steak on top of the bread with the Gouda cheese in between. So it's been about three or four minutes. Steak is a little medium. I prefer it medium rare. But we have the cheese on there with the bread. And fantastic steak. Let me know if you try this or if you have any recommendations. But I highly recommend this recipe for you to try.